Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've got some underexposed video or maybe some overexposed video and you don't exactly know what to do with it? Here's a real quick tip or a fast tip about how you can deal with that without raising too much of the apparent noise. We're going to use the color curves tool as opposed to using brightness and contrast. One of the things you never want to do in any nonlinear editing system is to use the brightness contrast control unless you absolutely have to. Leave that for other things such as tweaking masks or maybe working with some graphics but I recommend that you use the color curves tool when you need to deal with an underexposed or maybe an overexposed image. Let's have a look. So here I've got a piece of media playing back that's uh, definitely a little bit underexposed. We'll set that up to loop there and we'll, we'll create our loop so that it's just a little farther in where the bicycle rider starts to play in. There we go. So we can see that's a little bit underexposed overall. All we're going to do is grab this color curves tool and bring it down and drop it on. And in the color curves tool, you can see these small handles that are here, and you can actually add your own handles as well if you want to, right there about the mid-tone of the image. So just by double-clicking, you can add a new handle. So here I'm just tweaking up kind of the mid-level of the picture, as opposed to doing anything with the top end, because I don't want to blow out the snow that we can see in the frame right there. So let's look at the, uh, the before, and here's the after, before, after. And of course we can tweak that up just a little bit more if we need to without getting into those those real high end. So again here you can see the before and after. We can also punch those colors up just a little bit more but we'll save that for another fast tip from Vast.